If you want war, war, then that's what you gon' get with that war, war. Jeremiah 51 and 20. Battle axes, God's weapons of war. We don't battle axes, God's weapons of war. We on the corner and we ready for war. And I know you ain't seen nothing like this before. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. If you want war, war, then that's what you gon' get with that war. War, Jeremiah 51 and 20. Battle axes, God's weapons of war. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. We on the corner and we ready for war. And I know you ain't seen nothing like this before. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. So we the battle axes, God's weapons of war. Why not, then, brother? I'm not. I'm not perfect. But can you be? Yes, I. I can try to be. I can be perfect. I can't try to be. Yeah. Just like everybody in this earth and in this world. So. So guess what? We gonna give you some commandments. Are you gonna try and keep them? Give me Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Give me Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Because what is today, brother? What's today? Today is a blessed day. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but not for you if you ain't keeping the commandments, man. Hey, it's a blessed day. It is, but what is today specifically? As long as I'm living. Read this out. The book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So Christ told us. Who you just said told you to be perfect. So guess what? We can be perfect according to the Bible. That's Let's right. show you what perfect is. Give me Psalms 19 and 7. Read this. I, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Read that again. I, the the law, law of the, the Lord, Lord is perfect. perfect. Read, I, Converting the soul. Uh -huh. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making the wise simple. Guess what? When you keep the commandments of God, that's when you become perfect, brother. That's right. You understand that? Now give me Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Read this out. Speak unto the children of Israel. So we speak it to the children of Israel. You say you're so-called African-American. You will be from the tribe of Judah, brother. Because right. you don't find African-American in the Bible, brother. Read this out. And be it them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. Brother, what does throughout your generation mean? Read it again. Throughout your generation. That means if you have kids... Your kids have kids, and your kids' kids have kids. That means what? That y'all are always multiplying. Meaning, guess what? As long as y'all multiplying, you should be doing this law, brother. Read this again, huh? Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them freeness in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So look at all these brother's shirts out here, brother. What do we have at the end of our garment? Uh, shirts. Fringes, brother. Guess what? This is holy apparel, brother. This is not hard to get, brother. Right. This is how you take small steps in coming into this truth, like how you just said, brother. Because guess what? The most High God is recording that thing. Because you're going to honor your word, brother. You're going to honor your word. Because I know we done seen you out here plenty of times, brother. It's our time. Guess what? You get on this side of the fight, brother. That's right. guess what? You ain't doing nothing out there, man. Not helping our people fight and showing them who they are. You understand that, brother? Give me Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. You got to be a light, brother. That's what we out here doing. That's what these fringes are for. That's why we are keeping the commandments. We being a light to the nations and to our people. Read this out. This is the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Let your light so shine before men. What is that light talking about? Let the commandments shine before men, brother. Not just the light that it gives from the sun or when you flip <laughs> on the light in your apartment, brother. No, this is a similar to talking about the commandments, brother. Read that again, huh? Let your light so shine before men uh -huh. that they may see your good works. That they may see your good works, brother, because guess what? It's looking like you ain't keeping no commandments. That's why we have to call you out. So now that you will know, brother, so next time we see you, what you gonna have on your shirt? On your, what, on your garment or on your shirt, what you gonna have on there? Fringes, brother. This is what you need to have, brother. Because guess what? You never know who may see you. That brother is a liar. That brother's trying to keep the commandments. That's right. That may cause a brother or sister to wake up and come keep the law, right. brother. That's why we got to be a light. Read this. You also need to be keeping this commandment. Read this, huh? The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Uh -huh. Bring it up. Remember the seventh day. So what is the seventh day, brother? Seventh. Seventh day. Seventh day. What is the seventh day of the week? Rich. 
Really? Exactly. But what is the seventh day of the week? Seventh day. Yeah, I know. What day? Which day is it? Is it Saturday or Sunday? Say it again. Oh man, you was doing good, man. Until we got there. What is the seventh day? What? What your? What your calendar on your phone say? What is the first day of the week, brother? Brother, come on, man. You can't be this fly and not right. know. Hey, yo, yo, your perception and my perception is always gonna be different. Nobody in this world is gonna be the same. And this is what you can remember and y'all can remember. I'm gonna always be blessed. God is with me. But for you to call me out sooner or later, I'm gonna be on camera. I'm gonna be doing the same thing you doing. Brother, I want you to, yeah, yeah, but, but guess what? Yeah, is God with you? Give me. Yeah, he always with Is he? Are yeah, you yeah, sure? Yeah, Give I me John chapter 9, verse 31. I know. I know. This is not something I think. I know he's with you. Is he? Yeah. Well, let's see. If, now, if do you believe in the Bible? If he, so, do he hear your prayers? Yeah, he heard. Let's see what the Bible says, brother. Give me John chapter 9, verse 31. <laughs> he answers every day. He do we read this, all right? This is the book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Now, we know that God heareth not sinners. Read that again, huh? Now, we know that God heareth not sinners. I got another question. What is sin, brother, according to the Bible? All I'm going to <laughs> brother, the Bible just, brother, this is no disrespect. This is trying to edify you, brother. The Bible says that you, we not, the Bible is, brother. We speak in God's words. These are not my words, brother. Do you believe in the Bible? Let's start there. Do you believe in the word? I believe in God, and I believe he sent this. If you believe in God, give me Sirach chapter 32, verse 24. I'm going to give you a That's it. That's it. All I can say is Read this, he, huh? he sent his Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. From what? From, from hearing the law. Read, huh? Even his prayer shall be an abomination. No, God, hear me. That's right. Even his prayer shall be an abomination. You're trying to turn away your ear from hearing the law, brother. It says even your prayers, prayers shall be an abomination, abomination brother. Ooh, brother, man. we actually do this up here, brother. That's right. I don't know if you didn't notice this, man. We actually live the Bible, brother. But, but, That's right. but, but listen, though. Uh, go ahead, brother. What I say, I ain't perfect. I ain't we understand perfect. we got through yeah, that. You yeah, said yeah, you was yeah, going to yeah, make yeah. strides but, at it, but, didn't you? But every last Hold one up. of y'all in these blue shirts, uh -huh. it took y'all time. Y'all didn't just we jump out there. We understand that, That's brother. Right. That's what yeah. we said. That's right. Right. You can't. You Brother, we asked, I asked you, are you going to make strides? I got a blessing for me to work. It's, it's, a, it's way more people than what you got right here. And you don't even Brother, guess what? This truth is not about people, man. Give me give me Matthew chapter 22, verse 7, man. Break it up! I understand that, brother. That's what matters, though. God bless y'all. Brother, you need to be keeping the commandments, brother. Give me Matthew 22 and 7. It's not about numbers, man. Read this. Huh? Read this. The book of Psalms. Chapter 119, verse 159. Bring it out! Consider how I love thy breaking out. Shalak. Read this out. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. Read out. Huh? The wicked flee. The what? The wicked flee. Read on, huh? When no man pursue it. The Bible says the wicked flee, brother. Read on, huh? But the righteous, the bold as a lamb. Give me Matthew 22 and 7. Read this out. Huh? The book of Psalms. Chapter 1, 119, verse 59. Uh -huh. I thought of all my ways uh -huh. and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste. He did what? I, I made, made haste. haste. Oh, brother, you talking about your time? The Bible says you better make haste, brother. That's right. Come on, Hollywood, man. Come That's on right. out of that nonsense, brother. I'm glad to see you growing that beard out, brother. So, what's uh -huh. going on now, man? Do you believe it? Because I know last time it was a little bit of, little bit. You still don't believe it, brother? What don't you believe? You don't believe the what? Dear okay. women. I'm not shaking my head because I'm I'm not saying that I don't believe. Uh-huh. Because it got me mixed up. Now I'm asking you, do you believe? Because I know it, it was some some going back and forth that last time. I know I can remember you being humble one time, but I remember that first time it was a little combative. How are you taking it now though? With what we bringing out? Do you believe it? Are you ready to Keep the commandments. Oh. Hey, you know what? 
kind of remind me, I'm going to be honest with you, you kind of remind me of those cats back in Yashu's day. They sit out there and they watch everything that he did. Uh -huh. And they pointed out everything that he did. They come, you understand what I'm saying? The scribes and Pharisees, guess what? That's what you kind of remind me I'm of. nothing like that because guess what? Give me Matthew chapter 23 verse 1. Go ahead. Uh, now, guess what? Now we're going to bring out the scriptures to show you that I'm nothing like them. Because I understand what you're saying, but I'm going to prove to you that I'm not because guess what? They will say and do not. I am doing and saying. Read this. I, this is the book of Matthew chapter 2. Brother, we out here. To, what did the Bible say? The Bible said, call out their sins. Give me Isaiah 5081. Read this. I, Matthew chapter 23. Verse 1, uh -huh. then spake Jesus unto the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribe and the Pharisees sat in Moses' seat. So the scribes and Pharisees, they sat in Moses' seat, meaning, guess what? They weren't the leaders. Read on, huh? All therefore, whatsoever they be, you observe. So guess what? The things that they tell you, observe. This is your Lord. This is our Lord and Savior Christ telling you. The things that they say, observe. So what? Why you can't observe the things that I'm saying? We don't know. That observe and do, but do not ye after their work. We don't know. For they say and do not. Read that again. Huh? For they yeah, say yeah, and do, do not. not. So guess what? The Pharisees was telling people what to do, but they weren't bagging it up themselves. Guess what? I'm walking in like I'm talking. That's right. I'm practicing what I'm preaching. That's I'm right. Not gonna tell, I'm not telling you to do something. I'm not doing it. That's cool. Uh -huh. I'll praise. I'll praise. So that's all that we out here doing, brother. There's no disrespect. This is what we're commanded to do. Because guess what? I want to see you in the kingdom. That's brother. right. Guess what? I want to see us have rulership over the planet Earth, man. Read this. I this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Brother, do you believe in the Bible, brother? You believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? <laughs> what, what's kind of? What don't you believe? Let's start there. Read this out. Cry aloud. Do what? Cry aloud. Well, the Bible tells us to cry aloud, brother. We don't know. Spread now. And we can't spread your feelings, brother. Because guess what? You may have to lose the arm, but as long as you get it to the kingdom, brother, ain't going to be like, brother, keep the commandments. Brother, keep the commandments, brother. This is something serious, brother. We don't know. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. For the most high God tell us to cry aloud. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. A trumpet is a very loud instrument. We don't know. And show my people their transgressions. And the Bible says show our people what they are doing wrong. Show them their sins. We don't know. And the house of Jacob, their sin. Because guess what? If you don't know that you're doing wrong, how are you going to get back on the right track, brother? That's what the Bible is all about because the, a lot of people don't understand that it's over 613 laws, statutes, and commandments that we must do, brother, in order to make it to the kingdom. Because we was only taught that it was what? Now back on you. Yeah, come down with us, brother. Y'all praise me. Y'all get that brother hand, man. What don't you believe in, brother? Let's start there. Huh? That's what I don't believe what happens when we leave. That's a good question. Give me the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 7. That's Bring a good question. All praise. So you read the Bible. Yeah, that's right. What color was Saul? According to that or? Yeah, of course according hey. to this, man. What was he? I guess a brown skin, brother. You guess and you love Ecclesiastes, man? Come on, brother. You got to do better than that. <laughs> Give me Psalms of Solomon, man. Let's get this brother something right quick. Read this right quick. The book of Psalms of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Chapter 1, verse 1. All right. Chapter 1, verse 1. The Psalms of Psalms. Which is Solomon. So Solomon actually wrote this when you read and precept it with 1 Kings 4 and 32. Jump down to verse 5. I am black. Wait a minute, maybe. I, I am, am black. black. What color is King Solomon? I am black. Oh, praise. <laughs> we don't know. Black government. Oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. King Solomon says he's black and beautiful. That's what comedy means. So now that we got that understood, now let's go here. Read this out. The book of Ecclesiastes 12, verse 7. Uh -huh. They shall dust return to the earth as it was. So you know that our bodies are made of what? The dust of the ground. Read this from the top again, huh? They shall the dust return to the earth as it was. So we, our bodies, when we bury it, return to the dust. But let's see where our spirit goes. And the spirit 
shall return unto God who gave it. So where does our spirit go when we die? God. Exactly. That's right. They just go up there and rest. Is what it's calling. You read in the book of Second Ezra, a chamber of souls. Right. And guess what? They can hold only so much chambers. I don't want to go too deep on that. You understand? Know so what is your next question? What are some of the other things you don't believe? Do you know who you are in the Bible? Let's start there. No, I don't. What's your father? What is your father? What race is your father? I don't know. That's what we ask you. What is he a so-called African American? Yeah. So you will be from what? From the tribe of Judah, brother. This is who you are in the Bible. And we can identify by what? The curses in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15 through 68. God gave us blessings. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. He gave us blessings and curses. He said if we kept the commandments, we'll be on high. But if we broke the commandments, what? We'll be on what? If we on high, if we keep the commandments. Exactly. You would have met. Brother, look at the state of our people, brother. Brother, we don't, we don't get no bottom to the so-called blacks and Hispanics, brother. That's right. Read this. Huh? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, uh, his what? Commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that the Lord God shall set thee high above all nations of the earth. So the Most High God said if we kept the commandments, we'll be above all nations. But if we broke them, we'll be what? Below all nations. Now this is the flip side, Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Read this out. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments in his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is a curse a good or a bad thing? Bad. Exactly. So the Most High God said for breaking his commandments, what? He was going to make bad things happen to us. What are some of the bad things that happen to our community and no other nations of people? Poverty. That's right, brother. Guess what? What just happened to that brother? Shot down. Now guess what? We're finna read about that thing. Give me Zechariah chapter 11 verse 5. Bring it out, huh? A clear picture to show you that we the one and only chosen people of the Most High God. And we out here catching hell because we're breaking the commandments. Read this out. The book of Zechariah chapter 11 verse 5. Who's possessed slavery? Who possessed us in slavery? Who owned us in slavery? You know who owned us? The so-called white man, brother. So-called white man. Exactly, man. Read this again, huh? Who possesses slavery? Now guess what? That's, this is letting you know that guess what? We're still in possessions of them. Because when you free a people, what do you do? You send them back to their homeland or where you got them from. Where we at? We still in the land of our captivity. It's like a free dog running around in the backyard. An unchained dog. Exactly. That's right. Read on, huh? Who's possessed of slavery and hold themselves not guilty. When they kill our people in the streets, when they go to court, what is the verdict found? That's right. Read this again, huh? And hold themselves not guilty. They slay us in the streets and hold themselves what? Not guilty, man. How can we possibly? How can them? That's how we know that the Bible is a true book. This book was written thousands of years ago, and a lot of these things is playing out right before our eyes. That's bro. right. That's why we're out here crying aloud trying to get our people to wake up. What are some of the other questions that you may have, bro? Because we showing you. Each time you have a question, what are we doing? Going to the Bible to prove that thing, man. And explain it through the scriptures. This is what Pastor Porkchop is not doing, bro. You don't eat swine or nothing, do you? Uh, <laughs> you know, we got to get them. Give me Leviticus. How, how can we know these in the spirits, man? We just see spirits. Did the spirit just say pork all in your belly, man? <laughs> Give me Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7, man. This is the this is the gift of the prophets of the Most High, man. This is what we out here for, to call out sins, man. Read this out. The book of Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine. What is the swine, brother? The pork. The Read on out. No, he divided the hook. No, the swine divide the hook. Read on out. And be cloven footed. Uh -huh. Yet he cheweth not the cud. The pig doesn't chew the chug, the cud, meaning he doesn't 
eat his food, regurgitate and swallow. You understand that? Not like a cow or an ox. They have four stomachs, a pig doesn't. We don't know. He is unclean to you. Read that again, huh? He is unclean to you. Read, huh? Of the flesh shall ye not eat. Guess what? We shouldn't be eating that. Why do you think our people play with heart disease? Brother, you eat that pork too, don't you? Look at him. Look at him, laugh. A lot of people play with Why do you think the slave master gave us that, man? They knew who we were in the Bible. They know if they keep us on the bottom, they can continue to rule over us. That's brother. right. Then guess what? That's why not only keeping God's laws, that's just commandments, is good for your health, brother. I ain't ate pork in about six or seven years, brother. Oh, okay. But I didn't feel a whole lot better. That's right. What about that cap, right. that crab, and yeah, hey, yeah, brother, we just want that all the seeds, man. But that's what we heard, brother. To call them out and to build you up with the scriptures. God's weapons of war. We the battle axes. God's weapons of war. We on the corner and we ready for war. And I know you ain't seen nothing like this before. We the battle axes. God's weapons of war. We the battle axes. God's weapons of war. If you want war, war, then that's what you gon' get with that war. War, Jeremiah 51 and 20. Battle axes, God's weapons of war. We them battle axes, God's weapons of war. We on the corner and we ready for war. And I know you ain't seen nothing like this before. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war.